We're heading to Big Boy's Toys to pick up our new oven. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> Go get our oven. Let's do it. Well, we got our oven. It's pretty cute. I'm happy Wait with you it. Can see it. All right, let's get it home. Yeah. Thank you, Big Boys Toys. If anybody needs an oven or any other RV supplies, check them out. They're on the island. They were super helpful answering all my dumb questions. It is probably a two-person job. Welcome home, little buddy. Meet your new friend, the fridge. <laughs> Welcome back. Our recent struggles aren't holding us back. We are moving full steam ahead on our tiny home project, fueled by the power of positive thinking. One thing to celebrate is that our gas appliances have arrived and we can finally install our cabinets. Let's install the cabinets. Let's install the cabinets. Since our cabinetry makes up 80% of our tiny home, does this mean that we are almost done? James loves reading all the manuals. I just want to know if I've made the cutting of the opening right. I just did it off the internet. It's one better. It's just the one that we made for the oven. Dimension A is 17 and three quarter. Dimension B is 20 and a quarter. Nailed it. And dimension D, 20. 19 and an eight. Closer to 19. But I think dimension D is inclusive of the thickness of the counter, which brings me up to a clean 20. Nice. <clears throat> <laughs> so we're having a much better day compared to yesterday and we're just having a moment because the countertops look so beautiful and we're very very proud and just happy with how everything has turned out so far we also love our new stove and oven and just so excited to cook in this little space that we've created with our own hands finally feels like it's starting to come together for us yeah finally but we got a couple of chores left to do this evening. Yeah, we're not ready to stop yet. The holes that we drilled through the subfloor, we need to bring them up through the bottom of the cabinet. To do that, I think we're gonna go back underneath the trailer, put a bit of paint on a stick, stick it up through and mark where it should be on the bottom of the cabinet, and hopefully, you know, it all aligns. If not, we'll just make the holes slightly bigger. I think our cabinet's about as straight as we're ever really realistically gonna get it in an Airstream that has curves this way, curves this way, curves this way. So, I've got my dabbing stick. I'm gonna go dab it in paint and dab a dab up on the bottom. All right, shall we dab? A little dab will do ya. Man, you're taking this to dab central. It's <laughs> a lot of people. Oh, jeez, babe. I went just like a little touch on the tip. You went the full dunk. Mate. Oh. Alright, let's try to not get paint everywhere. Dab a dab. <laughs> dab me again and I'll dab the second hole. Just, just like a little bit this time. Better? Much better. No way. Not that great, hey? Round two. <laughs> so it's your tool? Hex pipe and sharpie. Alright, let's see what we got. Hey. hey. There we are. There's the hole. So we kind of know where they are now. That is a drain hole. Fingers crossed it's in the right spot. Nice. Now we drink it.
cabinets to where they need to be. Um, this is going to be their final resting place, but just before we secure everything down to the floor, I just wanted to check the fit of our face plates that we cut the other day. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with our measuring at the time, because they all line up pretty nicely. So now we need to shim the back of this box so that it doesn't warble like this. And then we can secure the bottom cabinet, the top cabinet, and we can move on to securing face plates. carcasses are installed. Yeah. Oh, a baby. We've been waiting for this moment for a week. I've been saying, let's install the cabinets and let's install the cabinets. It feels so good. Yeah. Nice. Welcome back to Airstream After Dark. The work is still happening. Mm-hmm. And right now, we've drilled all our pocket holes and we're going to try to attach our faceplate. New day. How are you feeling about those in the daylight? We did an alright job. Yeah? Yeah, I think they came out okay. We still gotta clean them up a little bit, but I think it's the start of something good. Awesome. So what's the plan for today? Let's tackle this side. Let's get it all locked down, positioned out, get our wires run through the back for the plumbing where we need to be, and then we can put the faceplate on this side. Second thought, Let's quickly make sure the oven fits in the enclosure, otherwise we're going to have to pull it apart again. Oh my god. Fingers crossed. Shit, eh? Wow! <laughs> she fits! Check it out! Check me out, making bread. Oh, nice. Making stir fry. Come on! Yes! Too good. That came out pretty bloody good, eh? Yes. So I believe the counters need to fit underneath this lip, mm -hmm. the metal lip here. Because at the moment, it's sitting on the bottom of the frame, right? And it needs to be hung. So we have 9 sixteenths. We have 9 sixteenths of space, and our counters are 15 sixteenths. So that gives us 3 sixteenths of clearance on the bottom of the oven. It's pretty accurate. Which is like bang on spec for installing one of these, I believe. So that was a pretty big moment for us. I don't yeah. even know why. 
but I guess it was just a big unknown whether or not that would fit and the pieces of the countertops and cabinets have been so disjointed for days and just to see it all come together like that is pretty, pretty rewarding. Moving on to the other side. I don't need to shim those because... Well, we still need to probably shim them just a little bit. Like, you can see that it's got a little bit of rock to it. Okay. So I need to level that out. Uh, yes, sort of off, So things got a little chaotic earlier. We were just stuck in a work mode. I was sanding away, James was scribing. There really wasn't a place to set up the camera. There was sawdust everywhere. We probably cleaned this trailer like 30 times today. Yeah, at least. <laughs> we just pieced her all back together. The cabinets are in and we are finally starting down in the back section. James scribed the wall and we're just about to put the bed frame in, which is pretty exciting, I think. We built this bed frame a couple of weeks ago. We weren't too sure on the details at the time, but I think it's actually worked out pretty well so far. Our closet is four feet wide. We're gonna run a bar across the top here. The electrical systems are all gonna be contained in the back corner here. There's gonna be a bedside table, probably about the level of the bottom of the windowsill, I think. All right, shall we rock this down to the subfloor? Yeah. All right. Get it in there. Let's do it. This turned out too nice. I can't believe that the measurements actually all lined up back here after like several weeks. So that's like about half past nine, so I think, do you wanna call it a day? It's been another 12 hour day on Star. Let's go make some dinner. Let's go ahead and make some ham sandwiches. <laughs> I'm feeling Mexican again. Uh, let's do burritos. <laughs> we just alternate between. Mexican sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Anyone ever asked what we eat is ham sandwiches every day, <laughs> three times a day. I put salami on today. That'd be great. I think I went through eight ham sandwiches when I did the sand. <laughs> it's glorious. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week to watch us suffer through the growing pains of propane. Until then, cheers.